You're here, I'm queer, and welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you guys have all seen Turning Red at this point, but if you haven't, you gotta check it out. The Asian representation is real, and they really touched on what growing up in an Asian household can look like. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie from the animations, the music, the references, and the overall message. Not to mention that Mei Mei is so adorable in her panda form. Also, the food visuals are mouth-watering. Before the transformation, I want to say a huge thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I don't know about you guys, but it makes me so hungry every time they show food in Turning Red. And with HelloFresh, we can channel our inner Jin Lee and be the star of the kitchen. HelloFresh makes cooking at home fun, easy, and affordable. They provide seasonal recipes including fresh and pre-measured ingredients straight to your door. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Looking for a spring refresh? Try something new! Take your taste buds on a trip and explore different global flavors from your dinner table with HelloFresh. Their step-by-step -step recipes are super easy to follow, and pre-portioned ingredients help me cut out prep time, so I can have time to get outside this spring. They also offer veggie, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meals to make it easy to stick to your goals. And HelloFresh cuts down on your food waste by at least 25% compared to grocery shopping, according to a HelloFresh global food waste study. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code HEXGEN16 for up to 16 free meals and 3 surprise gifts. And thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into it. As you can see, we have a new muse for today's video. I will be customizing a Rainbow High doll. This one is the junior one. And yes, I am excited, but also fearful. Um, you know, because this is a new endeavor for me. But I thought it would have been really cool to customize a Rainbow High one, especially the junior one for Maylin Lee. As you can see, the juniors are a tinier version of the regular Rainbow High dolls, so they're shorter, a little bit more petite, um, but their articulation is pretty much the same. Um, it is a little bit more stiff in the leg area, um, which I thought was kind of interesting, but yeah, overall, this is such a cool doll to customize and I'm kind of excited. Let's go ahead and prep her up for the customization and remove her red hair. And this would have been so perfect if it had a little bit more um, orange tones in it, but it was really like fire engine red. So I was like, ooh, a little bit more orange in there would have been so, so perfect for Maylin Lee. To make removing her head a little bit more easier, I am steaming her entire head, the entire vinyl head here with my steamer. As you can see, it's just gonna soften everything and it'll be just... I mean, it still was a little bit, you know, harder to remove, so you just have to be gentle with it so you don't break the neck peg. Then I'm taking my needle nose pliers and I am continuously removing the hair plugs in her head. After that, I'm going to make a small, not small, um, a triangle incision in her scalp over here so we can have access to her eyes. And I thought triangle would be easier to uh, make and it will still retain some sturdiness. So yeah, we can always put it back and everything, but over here I'm just taking out more hair. So really cleaning it up. And as you can see, this is the back of her eyes. So it is molded in there, which is kind of interesting actually. So you can actually just pop it out um, and it's pretty easy. Again, it's easy because the vinyl head is softened with our steamer. And I'm taking my X-Acto knife again and I'm just making a hole in there. I'm cleaning it up and prepping her up for some inset eyes and everything. I made her hair wefts using these two acrylic yarn. As you can see, the other one is a little bit more warmer tone, and then the other one is a lot more orange. So I like the different tones of the orange in this one. For some reason, yeah, the red panda is actually orange. Um, but yeah, so this is the blend that I have. These are all of the wefts. I was actually kind of scared that it wasn't enough, but it was. It was enough. 
And as per usual, I'm gonna go ahead and glue the webs one by one using my hot glue. And you wanna start from the bottom in the back and then work your way up towards the front. And of course, May has short hair, so let's go ahead and take our scissors and cut it into a bob. And this is what we have so far, as you can see. Um, I try not to cut it too short because we are going to be curling it and styling it in the end. So you want to overcompensate for that in terms of the length, so you don't cut too short. Now for the bane of my existence, her eyes, um, yes, we will be making inset eyes this time. And um, I have these two molds over here that I was comparing, I got them from Amazon. And I was comparing it to the original eye, and over here I was like, okay, the iris part is perfect in terms of the scale, but the sclera part, like the whites of the eyes are huge! So. Um, yeah, I was just doing some comparisons. I made some samples over here. So this is what the smaller eye looks like. And this is what the bigger eye looks like. And as you can see, I definitely overall prefer the bigger eye because the iris is a lot bigger. And I feel like it'll give it more of the anime look. Um, but it's just the overall size of it. I don't know if it'll work. Um, I'm showing you guys over here, I don't know if these will help with reference, um, but the bigger one says 15 and 78, so yeah, maybe those are the size, maybe those are the specs, we don't know. And over here I am just giving you guys a sample, and I mean she looks scary, she looks scary bells, you know what I mean? Like, um, but I think this would work if it was like a horror doll, I don't know, it's just scary. But, you know, we're, we're going for a cutesy, adorable look, very kawaii! So, this, I don't think this will work. And um, over here I have the blue one, and oh my god, I mean look at that. So, so cute! Um, it's overall taking most of the eye, the iris part, the blue part, which is very anime looking. Um, I definitely prefer it so much, and you, you know, you can change where they're looking at and stuff like that, so I thought that was so, so fun. Um, oh my god, look at that. Adorable, like, you know, rainbows and daisies versus, dun, dun, like, the Saw, the Saw intro. That's <laughs> very that. Um, so yeah, I think overall we're gonna go for the blue one, you know? It's just more adorable, and you just can't go wrong with it. So I will be using UV resin for the eyes, and over here I have a clear UV resin and then a white um, color for the UV resin. So I'm going to be mixing those two up to create the sclera, the whites of our eyes. Now I'm not going to lie, this overall process took so long. I think it took me like maybe four days. Maybe more. I don't even know anymore because this was just a hot mess. I'm gonna show you guys later, but it's it was a hot mess. Like this, like doing the whites of the eye, it was it was it was fine. It was easy, you know, getting all of this. I was like, I'm gonna make a little bit more just in case I make mistakes. And for Mei Lin specifically, I wanted to make two pairs of eyes. One normal eyes and then one googly anime eyes, like the heart eyes. Now I do want to say a huge thank you to Poppin Atelier and Jackie O. I was referencing their videos when I was making my eyes and oh my god, I mean, you know, thank you guys so much. It was a lot of help like watching their videos. I mean, I still had so much mishaps, um, but definitely check out their videos. They were really, really good at explaining how to make the UV eyes. I mean, of course, we have our legend Andrea, Nicole's Dreams who has been in the BJD community for such a long time, so she's also made um, a lot of eyes as well, so I do want to reference her as well. But, um, yes, I taped everything else. I taped the overall eye with tape, 
and then I sprayed it with Mr. Super Clear so we can have a good base to work on. And I'm just using acrylic paints, pastels, and pencils, you know, the regular thing that I would use on doll customization. And uh, yeah, I'm just building up the layers, building up the colors. I'm using pencils to create those lines in the iris. I really want to make it look pretty realistic um, because you know it's my first time making inset eyes so I'm like why not have fun with it why not make it realistic our googly eyes is gonna be the fun one so I was like let's try and make this as human looking as possible and for the actual pupils over here I am using the, um, the tip of a needle a pin needle and this one I got from Pop in Atelier. I thought that was really, really cool of an idea. And it was the perfect size also. So I'm just gluing it in the middle over there. And I'll just make it look really 3D. And overall, I am layering the UV glossy um, resin on top of it. I'm working in by layers because the bubbles, the bubbles are among us. You know, someone call the Powerpuff Girls and get bubbles out of here. But literally, Oh, like, it was just bubbles galore, and it kind of actually looks really cool. It reminds me of this character from Akazuki and Chacha, the principal in there, because she has the googly eyes. So, I, it was cute, but not for the purpose that I was going for. So, as you can see, like, oh my god, the color, though, is everything, but the bubbles is just there. And before this, I was doing a lot of trial and error from the get-go, because I knew this was going to give me a hard time. And as you can see, it was just a lot of bubbles. I tried working at it all at once. I tried pouring it little by little. I tried doing the slow curing. And it still has a lot of bubbles. I have no idea why. But um, yeah, these are all of the failed attempts, as you can see. And um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. There was a lot of trial and error for this one specifically. And I was getting upset. Um, I did make one off camera and this one was a little bit more successful a lot more warmer Which is the color that I was going for there's still bubbles in there very very tiny though by the um, By the pupil so it's a little hard like especially the left one I don't know if you can see but it's I was like, okay, this is it. This is the most I can do so I thought this came out perfectly well not perfect, but you know as perfect as it can be and I really like how satisfying it is. Um, I, I, I added more reds inside her eyes because Malin's um, brown eyes actually is very, very warm. So I was like, maybe I should add more reds in there. Now for the googly eyes, I started with the same exact uh, technique. Uh, I started with a brown base and then I am going over it with some shimmery purple. Um, this is going to be so, so fun. And then for all of the googliness and all of the starriness and heartiness, I'm using all of these. Um, they're kind of like, you know, a little bit chunkier glitter um, in different shapes. So I thought they were apropos. And I do have actual glitter over here in different colors. I have um, indigo, purple, and also white. Actually, the white is clear. It's not even white. So it's really, really nice. It will give off a really good effect. So I'm just placing it all. You know, I'm having fun. This one's the fun eye. I was still very, you know, scared. But then I was like, in my head, I was like, if there's bubbles in there, I mean, that could work in my favor. The bubbles could look like sparkles and stuff. So I was like, it's fine. Um, but I did the same thing over here. I layered it. I worked on it, I think, maybe four layers at a time. And um, yeah. So this one was really, really fun to make. And as you can see, it's just so, so googly, it's so hearty, it's, this is, this is my favorite one, actually. Like, when I put it on her, it's, it just transforms her, and it looks so, so, so cute, and I am obsessed. Uh, I wish it was easy to make, um, resin eyes, like, inset eyes like this, because it's just really, really nice, like, the outcome, but it is, it's painstaking, for sure. For her glasses, I'm just taking this wire over here and I am wrapping that up with my spray bottle um, to make a perfect circle. And um, I made two of them. I wrapped it twice so, you know, we can make two circles out of it. And then I'm just going to be bending it 
um, flat on my table to create kind of like an oval shape. Um, May's glasses are very, very oval. They're not really rounded like a perfect circle. So I did my best to make it as oval as possible. And I'm just doing the same exact thing. I'm taking my resin over here and I'm making the glass out of it. Now this one came out pretty interesting. Um, it yellowed over time and it's not as clean looking as I want. It's very water droplets. It's, you know, it's not good. It's not showcasing the eye a lot. So over here I made one without resin in it. So it's literally just wrapped wire and I think the effect is so much better as you can see. Um, it's a lot cleaner looking. Um, it's still not perfectly symmetrical in terms of the oval, but on her, like, the eyes are being showcased, which is what took the longest to make, so I'm like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna make sure to showcase it. <laughs> For her outfit, of course, this was done by the amazing Heather by Deluxe Designs, and as you can see, I commissioned her to make these, um, set. Um, it's a t-shirt kind of, um, it's a t-shirt bodysuit. I wanted it to be like a bodysuit so that it is completely tucked in permanently. Like the tuck-in will not come out and stuff. And it's so, so cute. The pleated skirt is adorable. Um, she also made the maroon tights over here, which is so, so nice. And for her cardigan, I commissioned her to make two of them, actually. One closed looking one, and then the other one is open. So I thought that was so, so cute. I like the option. And um, the closed one opens from the back, obviously, like a regular, you know, doll clothes. And then the other one, like, opens from the back as well. So it's like a layered look. I really like it. I do want to change the button on this one because the buttons are a little bit too big. And I found, like, micro buttons that I thought was perfect for this cardigan. Before we add the buttons, I do want to give this the embroidery design look that May had on her cardigan. So I'm just doing my best. You know, I'm channeling my embroidery skills again, uh, but this time with regular um, needle and also regular thread. So yeah, I'm just doing my best. You know, I just do want to give it a design and I was looking at the reference photos and I think I was able to capture it a little bit, you know, I, I was able to capture some of the design, I thought. And here I have both of the cardigans embroidered and designed um, from front to back, and it's really, really cute. It definitely adds the you know more authenticity to the reference um, of May's cardigan. So I thought that was really, really nice. For the buttons over here, I got these micro mini round flirt buttons from Amazon, um, and I'll be using the pink ones. I actually got two of them because it's, uh, it's just not a lot. So I got two orders of this. For her sneakers, I am using a regular Rainbow High sneaker. Um, because of the tights, um, a normal Junior Rainbow High sneakers was a little too tight. So I thought a regular Rainbow High sneakers would be best, and this one belongs to Jade. Um, it's the perfect sneaker style that May had. Very, very early 2000s style. So yeah, I'm just painting it all white as a primer, and then I'm going at it with some grays. Now this gray was so, so cool to mix. I mixed um, pink and also gray together to create this really, really warm gray. Um, so yeah, mixing the colors for this shoe was actually kind of fun. And she might not have red bottoms, but she did have some pink bottoms over there, which is so, so cute. I love the pink soles. I love colored soles in general. Um, bonus points if they are red. Wow. 
Who is your Four Town bias, and what is your favorite Four Town song? I really like the Nobody Like You song. I think it's because of the intro and that telephone effect. I really like it. And we're pretty much done with our sneakers. As you can see, it's so, so adorable. I love the color story of this. I love the grays. I love the rosy pinks. Um, it's just really cute. Now let's move on to her face. And as per usual, we will be taking our acetone. You can also use nail polish remover if it has acetone in it to remove the factory paint from the vinyl head. And of course, I sprayed her twice with Mr. Super Clear to act as a primer so that our pencils, pastels, paint, all of that, the shimmers, the powders, will adhere to the vinyl face. And this was really fun because, um, oh my god, here we go again. I do think this is the most natural look I have ever made. Um, it's it's really just a lot of blushing, a lot of skin details. Um, if anything, I went overboard with blushing just because I I love blushing. Um, but for her eyes, like there's no eyeshadow in there. If there is shadows, it's like the natural shadows, like the skin shadows, not like an eyeshadow look. So I thought that was really really cool. Like this was actually refreshing um, to make, you know. But yeah, just lots of pastels for this one. Even for her lips, like it's very, very diffused. I mixed a lot of blushes, pinks, oranges, and a little bit of red in there. Um, just to have a lot of um, dimension with her lips. For her eyeliner, um, I do want to line it a little bit, but it's very, very smoky. Not pencil eyeliner. Overall, I really like how sweet this face-up looks, and it just looks so natural, like, oh my god. I love how diverse May's friend group is, and they all have their own interests. The one common interest being Fort Town. <laughs> Overall, the space up is just very, very sweet, very subtle, um, just refreshing, you know. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the and of course, we can't forget her beauty marks. She has a few. I believe she has three on her left and one on her right. Um, I may be missing another one on her right, but I, that's um, the reference photos. That's what they were showing. I really do wish they showed more Asian snacks in this film. Like, they showed boba, but imagine if they showed some Pocky, shrimp chips, or duh, some Hello Panda. That would have been so apropos. Of course, because we are working with an inset eye doll, like I had to take opportunities to water, you know, her waterline. I had to do details on those, her, um, what is it called? Her tear ducts and everything. So it was kind of fun. I am slightly shimmering her face, you know, because she's sweating. Like she's just like, oh my gosh, she's embarrassed. Like her mom is embarrassing her. So it's giving very that. But obviously, you know, I can't, you can't go wrong with shimmer in general, so yeah. And of course, a little gloss on the lips, you know, a little gloss on the lips never hurt nobody like you. Never gonna look back, cause damn I was built to last. 
For her lashes, I am using these Daiso lashes over here. These are like the most um, subtle lashes that I have, um, and they work perfectly for this doll scale as well. I'm just taking one, literally, and we will be cutting it in half, and I will be using that for both eyes. And I like how spread out they are. It's very, very subtle. It's not as dramatic as, you know, my usual lash styles. And now let's go ahead and add her eyes over here. And I'm just using a Gorilla Mounting Putty to do this. Oh my god, she looks so adorable! Wow, I mean, the eye color is so, so perfect. Now let's go ahead and add the glasses too. Oh my god, she's even cuter. Wow, look at that. I love it. I do want to give a comparison with the other glasses I made, and as you can see, it's just not giving. It's very messy looking. The glass was a cute idea, but it really does not show off her eyes that much. Now let's go ahead and put her together. To finish it off, let's go ahead and style her hair. And over here, I'm just using my heated metal chopstick. It's giving very page boy. <laughs> um, and not as strong. These are just, you know, subtle curls that goes in. Um, so yeah, we just want this bob to look a little bit more curly and a little bit more wavy. So yeah, it's kind of fun though. Over here I have this clip, um, it's a rainbow high clip that I painted into a teal color and it works perfectly for her. Star, I'm just using this nail art glitter over here. In Star it's metal, so it's really really cool. And I use um, super glue for it. And now we're done with Malin Lee. 